This is the Star News Brief. I'm Susan Kiprono. MPs who have in the past expressed opposition to the handshake between President Uhuru Kenyatta and ODM leader Raila Odinga have been left out of a meeting in Naivasha this weekend. The meeting is supposed to discuss the contentious issues arising from the Building Bridges Initiative report that was launched on Monday. The star understands that six contention areas have been identified. Most of those left out of the meeting are allies of DP William Ruto, who took to the stage at Bombas to tear up some of the proposals. The DP said that some of the changes proposed in the report were retrogressive and would undo the progress put in place by the 2010 Constitution. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash. Sports Kenya officials could be subjected to anti-graft investigations of irregularities in the construction of several stadiums across the country. A new report by the National Assembly Sports Committee has revealed the mess that has riddled the projects. The affected projects were among President Uhuru Kenyatta and DP William Ruto's 2013 pre-election pledges, which they repeated in 2017, promising progress within months. But findings tabled in the National Assembly by the Sports Committee, led by Mavoko MP Patrick Macau, paint a different picture. At the centre of the controversies on whether due diligence was undertaken in the process of awarding and execution of the contracts by Sports Kenya, MPs believe funds for the projects have been mismanaged and have called on DCI and ESCC to probe. With the prospects of the country going to a referendum increasing by the day in Siasa on Friday, the Star looks at how politicians are positioning themselves for the referendum and the subsequent 2022 polls. Political leaders are realigning themselves in readiness for the referendum and political scene is set to have new formations that will shape the battle for the presidency at the 2022 general election. Though a referendum presents a somewhat different set of choices to the voter than does an election, the process tends to influence the forthcoming presidential poll. Already, several leaders, among them DP William Ruto and ANC leader Musali Mudavadi, have raised issues in the Building Bridges Initiative report. They want to be addressed before Kenyans can go to a referendum. BBI Joint Secretary Martin Kimani on Thursday drew the wrath of MPs who accused him of trying to intimidate them by listing President Uhuru Kenyatta as one of his referees. The MPs were vetting him for the position of Kenya's permanent representative to the UN in New York. MPs questioned why Kimani listed Uhuru knowing very well is not only the appointing authority but also the head of state. Kimani, however, apologized to MPs for listing the president who can't easily be reached for comment on his character. Other nominees these vetted on Thursday included John Tippis for Australia, Catherine Wangi for South Africa and Immaculate Wambua for Canada. Three circles have sued the Nairobi Metropolitan Service over the ban imposed to lock Matatus out of the CBD by November 1st. Snowball, Astra L and Avatec won the court to suspend the implementation of the blanket ban. They say the decision is unfair and should be suspended. The Matatus ply Nairobi in Gong, Kisarian and Langata routes. Following its establishment, NMS started various well-intended undertakings aimed at improving service delivery within Nairobi City County and addressing some of the persistent problems facing Nairobi City, such as incessant traffic jams and disorderliness caused by Matatus. But the SACOs say the directive violates city bylaws by establishing illegal termini, drop and pick passengers and park their vehicles at non-designated areas. And finally, the rollout of Huduma Number now hangs in the balance after the High Court nullified the law establishing the project. Amendments to the Registration of Persons Act that provide the establishment of the National Integrated Identity Management System was among the 24 acts that the court said were passed irregularly as the Senate was not involved. Though the court suspended the nullification for nine months to allow MPs to remedy the situation, the move could throw the project into limbo. On Mashuja Day, President Uhuru Kenyatta received a sample Huduma Number card with rollout to the rest of the Kenyans planned for December. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 10 shillings by dialing star 550 star 3 hash. You can also get more on the Star website.